Gender-based violence is violence perpetrated against someone based on their gender or gender identity. As this violence is generally targeted against women and girls, sometimes the term is used to mean violence against women and girls. But gender-based violence also has a disproportionate impact on LGBTQ, 2S+, and gender non-binary people. With patriarchy, gender norms, biphobia, homophobia, sexism, and transphobia, gender-based violence can manifest in the context of a family. This happens when someone with power uses abusive behavior to control or harm someone with whom they have an intimate, trusting, and dependent relationship. It can manifest as domestic abuse, child abuse, intimate partner abuse, and elder abuse. Gender-based violence can affect anyone of any age, gender, race, social and economic class, or sexual orientation. It varies for every person and relationship, yet there are some common warning signs for adults, children, youth, and seniors. These warning signs can be in the form of isolation or withdrawal from family and friends, or symptoms of depression or anxiety or an explained weight loss or weight gain. They can be behavioral problems like aggression, difficulties at work or school, as well as mood swings and self-esteem issues. You might also notice them receiving persistent phone calls, text messages, and emails. Supporting a person experiencing abuse is pivotal to making them feel heard and build trust. When victims feel listened to and supported, they are more willing to contact and access formal or professional supports. As an informal network or natural support, some ways to help them feel heard and supported is to listen to what they need or want and let them be in charge. Support their choices. Assure them with confidentiality. Believe them. React calmly and don't ask for details. Do report the incident, however, if a child or senior is experiencing abuse. Employers can ensure that their employees know whom they can speak to with concerns about abuse. Also consider their immigration status as they might fear deportation. Let them know there is help available and help them find community resources such as accessing shelter, safety planning, and financial aid. Gender-based violence affects everyone and Canadians collectively spend billions of dollars to deal with the aftermath each year. There are many resources available to address the impacts of gender-based violence on individuals and to offset the costs of violence related to social, health, justice, employment, and community supports. Abuse scars you for life. There are so many pieces of you that, you know, that can take years to heal or they may never heal. But I totally believe that one chapter of life cannot define you. And we as a society, we as a community can do a lot for domestic abuse survivors. As a society, we can do a great deal for victims and survivors by believing them, walking with them, and supporting them in their struggle to come back to life.